Hey, this is Mickey and Millennium Shoes. We're here right now with the Jordan 5 Bel Air. Y'all been waiting. Time is here. F T D. Check this out. Translucent sole. Volt. Back to that translucent. Hit it that volt at the top. Got the beautiful purple on the midsole, visible air. Alongside that, in your raging flame, you got this beautiful game world with speckles of volt. Got that purple around the toe bumper along with the stitch. Go up to the upper, you got this great gravel gray nubuck. 23 embroidered in the pink with the outline of volt. Translucent rubber for your perforation, otherwise your mesh. Come up toe box real clean on that gray suede. Move up to the mid, you got some black neoprene, black laces over top of a back, sorry, translucent perforated mid. Leads you right up to your toggle. Clear with the Jumpman branding. Purple on the toggle itself with the Volt Jumpman. Get up to the tongue, love this. You got black neoprene with an embroidered pink Jumpman. And this is what's doing it for me with this shoe. It's the lining, check out how fresh this is. You got straight up Fresh Prince of Bel Air, crazy, crazy early 90s-ness all over. Got the Air Jordan branding in pink over a black tab. Shot of your footbed, gray with a pink jump man. Quick shot of the sole, got that vault creeping over along with the black jump man over a translucent herringbone sole. Vault with the Jordan branding and more of that translucent sole. Now the interesting part is when you look at the other shoe, there are some key differences between the two. Now, on this one in particular, you have a difference in your embroidery. Rather than before where you had the pink and the vault, here you have the vault with the blue on the 23. As well, your flame is pink with the blue splatter rather than the blue with the vault splatter. As you move alongside here, you can also see on the tongue, you do have the black neoprene, but you have a vault jump man rather than the pink. What's more, the lining also differs too. This time you got more of a pink on the tongue with the Air Jordan branded in Volt rather than pink. Now let's take a look at both of the shoes and kind of compare the difference. Now as you can see right here, the linings do vary between the two. This is the first pair we just showed you. When you look at the left hand pair here, you can see you have more of a pink base underneath the tongue and then more of a teal and navy stripe along with some other colors. Plus, the inside of the tongue, it has Air Jordan branded in Volt rather than the pink on this pair right here. As well, the footbed is gray with a Volt Jumpman rather than a pink one. When you take a look at the 23s on both shoes, you can see a difference. This one, the first one of course was the pink and Volt. The second pair has the Volt with the blue as I mentioned. I forgot to mention on the first one, the Jumpman was embroidered in pink. As you can see on the left pair, it's also in Volt. Soles, of course, are the same, but on the medials, we have slight differences right there. As you can see, pink in the blue and blue in the vault. Now, overall, I'm really happy with the execution of this shoe. I think this kind of came out just real lovely, clean, and fresh. The more and more I look at the shoe, the more I'm excited about it. I think they kind of really captured that early 90s Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Will Smith vibe. Now if you look at the first episode of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you can see how this shoe kind of comes together and it's fitting with that shoe at the timeline. It was 1990, on that first episode he wore both the white red Jordan 5s as well as the black red Jordan 5s. Also the clothes he was wearing was a lot of neon. He had bright Volt shirts with lime stripes, pink and Volt five panel hats. So this really kind of captures the element of that time. You got all the colors you saw there, and there was no better shoe to use to represent Bel Air than the five, because that's the one Will Smith was rocking the shoe. As you know, Fresh Prince of Bel Air and Jordans and Nikes have always had a good history with one another. It's probably the shoe he wore 90% of the time of all sneakers. So this is fitting. Anyhow, gotta say, I'm happy about this shoe. Shoe is good. Drops today, Saturday, October 5th. Make sure you got your pair in line. Be safe. And on top of that, it's my birthday. So let's raise a glass, get a pair of J's. Anyone want to send any to me? I'm not going to fight you on that. Anyhow, I'm just joking about all that. This is Mickey from Millennium Shoes. Catch you later.